Good morning, it's Tuesday the 29th of August and uh, it's Coffee with God. If you make it yourself, you know you'll like it. And turn with me to Galatians 6 verse 14, Galatians 6 verse 14 vanochtend. Yesterday I spoke about the fact that we need to realize that we are, we are sons, we're not slaves anymore. And part of realizing that we are sons and why we are sons is Paul brings out an awesome, awesome thing here. It's a huge, huge thing uh, for your spiritual walk in any day. But far be it from me to boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. We don't speak about the cross that much anymore these days. The, the crisis needs what ons baie oor praat of preek deesta, behalwe dalk oor pasna week. Maar besef jy hoe belangrijk die kruis is vir my en vir jou. Um, ons geloof is gebaseer, het sy um, bestaansrecht op die kruis van Jesus Christus. So our faith has its, has its uh, origin in the cross of Jesus Christ. And here he says, but far be it for me to boast. Uh, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, I want to bring that down into the world, into daily living. What is it that you are most proud of? Um, because the thing that you are most proud of, and you need to stop and think about this. This isn't something that you just quickly, oh, yeah, it's that. It's uh, stop and think about what is it? What is the one thing in your life? that you've done, that you've acquired, that you've obtained a title, a position, a possession. What is it that you're most proud of? Paul says here, you know what? If I have to boast, it'll be in the cross because the cross, I recognize in my life that the cross has crucified the world to me. I can live with a faith focus, I can live with a heavenly mindset. I can live knowing that God is my father, I am his son, and nothing in this world is attractive to me or needs to be obtained in, in order to fill up that which I've already obtained through the cross, my relationship with God, reconciled, restored, saved, set free healed, all of that because of the cross. And so, you know what? Nothing that this world shines and that what blink and that what that what on track like, like in the world is not more for me. Because the world is for me to do it. It's gekruisig on the cross of Golgotha. Isn't that an awesome thought? Isn't that just something to, to really just think about and then, and then think these guys in the context, we're talking about, you know, the law and circumcision and they were boasting, well, I'm circumcised, you're not. I had a conversation with uh, a friend of mine and uh, he's from another, another tribe, another race. And in his mind, when we were talking, he's an elderly gentleman. And while we were talking, he couldn't believe that a man could be a man without being circumcised. It just didn't enter into his thinking that somebody could be over the age of 16, 18 and, and could declare themselves a man, could have a family and could be working and not be circumcised. It, it was just not part of his culture. It was just not part of his upbringing. And that becomes a huge issue, a big thing for him. Why? How, how do you know you're a man? Well, I'm circumcised. How do I know you're a Christian? How do I know that you're a man? How do I know that you're a woman? How do I know that you're a success? What do you boast in? Paul says, I boast in nothing but the cross. Think about that and have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. May the Lord bless you.